This video explains how to go about architectural thesis at undergraduate level. Normally, thesis occurs during the final two semesters of a student's curriculum. What is thesis? Thesis is an independent design research project developed by a student with directions from a faculty advisor. Writing architectural thesis is the academic task to be done to earn the Bachelor of Architecture degree. Thesis is a project where all the learning of previous four years is incorporated. It requires rigorous efforts by the students to accomplish this task. Students are petrified about this subject of dissertation. But there is nothing to panic. It is actually quite simple. Basically, it is documenting your process of design. Just like you have been doing architectural design exercises for the past four years, you have to follow the same procedure. Only here, you yourself select the topic you select the site and you formulate the design requirements unlike the previous assignments where your teachers used to provide all this information. That is the only difference. Just recall that when you were given a design problem, you surfed the net to find out about the topic. You refer to books in the library to understand more about the topic and the design requirements. You did some case studies to understand the various design issues in similar projects done previously. You also visited some executed projects similar to the design exercise. You have to follow the same process with your thesis. Only here you have to document everything that you do and the documentation has to be methodical and in a particular format. I am going to explain the various components of a thesis and in the process I will be giving some tips to make your work easier. Part 1 of this video series deals with the selection of topic. Thesis begins with selecting a topic and ends with proposing a design solution that is feasible and is distinct. Topics in architectural thesis generally relate to one of the following. Formulation or development of a project that doesn't exist. Improvement of an existing project. New application of an existing project expansion of an existing project or comparative study of two or more entities and development of an improved version of an existing one. At undergraduate level, a student's thesis topic can be a live project that is in proposal stage. For example, they can take a metro station proposed by government the project may be in design stage or it may be in pre-feasibility stage where design has not yet started. Students can also select a topic in which they can propose a project that is practically possible provided they can justify its need and that the site selected should be having the same land use earmarked in the development plan. For example, a multi-speciality hospital at Alibagh can be selected as a topic provided the student can justify that there is a need for such a facility at Alibagh and that the DP of Alibagh has the selected site earmarked for health services. In case the DP shows the land use for that site as residential 
then the hospital cannot be proposed there and so the student will have to select a different site these are the criteria for selecting a topic first and foremost the selection of research topic should be your own secondly it must be within your interest choosing a topic that you are passionate about will make sure that you stay inspired and motivated to work which would ultimately result in a great final project it must be within your competence to tackle the work involved every student possesses a unique set of skills and abilities which they have acquired through their experiences and by following their interests no one is good at everything an unbiased understanding of your creative and technical capabilities and their limits thereof will allow you to choose a topic that best employs your expertise the selection of the topic should also be such that it is within your financial capability it should be within the limit of your available resources too a thesis project requires an enormous amount of reading and analysis before the beginning of the design process and the primary source of reference information is usually existing studies or existing research articles hence it makes sense to choose an area of study where a substantial amount of previous work exists the availability of such work will enable you to analyze compare draw conclusions and employ the knowledge gained to suggest an informed proposal besides your project may need access to certain areas that are not accessible without permission for example if your chosen site is within a restricted area say in defense area then you should have the resources to approach the authority for getting permission so what you need to do is at the initial stage itself list down the various sources from where you need to collect information and data and then contemplate if they are within your reach when you select the topic do consider that it should be possible to complete within the given span of time many students given to the natural temptation to do too much by picking topics or issues that are too extensive and it becomes almost impossible to execute it in the short time frame a tip here would be to start with the simplest version of a topic and add in extra complexity later if the circumstances allow it your topic must be researchable and manageable architectural students sometimes begin to glamorize or romanticize their thesis projects it is hard to blame them however when you consider that the thesis project is viewed as the culmination of a 5 year course which is rooted as deeply in aesthetics abstract and art as it is in building technology but it is imperative to find a topic that is a balance between fantasy and a simple straightforward project a topic that seems too abstract might make it difficult for a jury to ascertain the student's understanding of tangible issues besides 
there are other criteria like the solution should have a scope for original critical and reflective thinking it must be significant important and relevant to the present time and situation it must contribute to the improvement of quality of life it must not undermine nor compromise the moral and spiritual values of the people it must not involve any hazards be it physical social or legal last but not the least the thesis project is the single most important part of your portfolio as a fresh architecture graduate looking for a job in the industry or applying for a graduate program the choice of topic will reflect your interest or experience with a particular specialized subject hence when choosing a thesis topic you should try to align it with your plans for the near future you may have some criteria of your own that will help you decide kindly ponder on each of the above point before finalizing your topic in case you have more than one topic for consideration and you are not able to make up your mind then do this simple exercise give rating from 1 to 5 against each criterion for different topics where 1 is the lowest and 5 is the highest for example if your personal interest is more for topic number 3 and least for topic number 1 then you would give 5 rating to topic number 3 and 1 to topic number 1 and an average 3 to topic number 2 come to the next criterion that is availability of resources though your interest lies with topic number 3 but data available on that topic is very less and you don't have any contacts in that field to extract more data at the same time it falls under restricted area where you may not be allowed to visit the site so for second criterion you give 4 points to topic number 1 and two points to topic number 3 like this you rate against all the criteria you even add a criterion of traveling you want to avoid traveling due to pandemic so you give least rating to topic number 3 which involves extensive travel and you give maximum rating to topic number 1 which requires minimum travel and that too locally after adding all the ratings you find that topic number 3 in which you had the maximum interest is the least workable topic this way you are forewarned about the hurdles that lay ahead and you won't be stranded midway It's very difficult to come up with a unique topic but you can bring uniqueness in your work by adding some concepts or by blending in a different perspective Here are some concepts for bringing distinctiveness in your thesis These are self-explanatory you may kindly go through them To make this more clear Let me explain through an example. Say your topic is redevelopment of a railway station. This is a very common topic, and your juror would have certainly read a similar thesis earlier. How do you avoid being accused of plagiarism? How do you make your work stand out? and not being categorized as run of the mill ordinary work 
Well, you may apply any suitable concept out of the one given on the screen, or you may think of a concept of your own that would give a different angle or a different viewpoint to the project. Like, you may integrate the railways with other modes of transportation, like public buses, metro line, or a waterway if available nearby. You may make the project multimodal. An alternative is to integrate the railway station with a commercial hub. You may propose offices or shopping complex along with restaurants and eateries and work out an efficient traffic circulation system. Another alternative is to combine the railway station with a recreational center, say a multiplex or maybe an ice rink. This way you can make it a tourist attraction destination too. You may also bring uniqueness in your work by amalgamating historical importance or cultural value of the place of your project. If the place selected by you has a particular significance, like if your topic is redevelopment of Shirdi railway station, then you know that the maximum travelers to Shirdi visit the temple. In such a case, you may propose a skyway direct from railway station to somewhere near the temple. Just think out of the box and explore possibilities of perceiving the project differently. You may rephrase the topic later, suiting your concept. Here I am giving some suggestions for your thesis topic in case you haven't selected a topic yet. Just read through the topics and you might get an idea how to frame your subject, what words to use, and how to make the essence of your research clear in a few words. When you read the topics given on the screen, you would appreciate the way they are framed as each topic is not just a title, rather it gives an insight into the project by the way it is worded. As said earlier, you may start with a simple title like Hospital at Nagpur and you can reframe it later when you are clear about your concept. While there are many wide-ranging opinions about architecture's ideal role in society, there is a general agreement that architects work does influence how a society functions and evolves. In a world that is grappling with myriad serious issues like climate change, population growth and an inequitable distribution of resources, it benefits young architectural students to acquaint themselves with the larger picture and to choose a topic that at least aims to solve a current socio-environmental problem through a design intervention. With this, I end the first part of my video. Please see part two for further learning. Remember, thesis requires hard work, sincerity, honesty and being systematic. Happy working.